it's a sign of the times. Foreclosures are pretty commonplace, and if you're in the market to buy, you can find yourself a good deal. How can you make one your home today? Who better to ask than our real estate expert, T.J. Larson? Hello. How nice are to you see this you. morning? I'm good. I'm doing great. Good. Well, let's talk about these foreclosures because there's a lot of them going on out right now. Explain what a foreclosure exactly is, T.J. Well, first of all, it's a process. Let me back up a little okay. bit and go into uh, the lending practice. First thing that you're going to do when you're going to buy a home or refinance a home is you're going to sign a deed of trust. And that basically puts the home up as collateral against the debt. Then you sign a promissory note, and that's what defines how you're going to pay that debt back. Now, foreclosure is a process when the debtor fails to pay that money back, okay. and the bank or the lender is able to repossess the home uh, as damages for not paying back the debt. Okay. All right. Well, as a potential buyer, can you negotiate the price of a home with a bank when it comes to a foreclosure? Is it something you can negotiate, or is it a set price in you? Everything's negotiable. Really? And the banks are really starting to turn these foreclosures more out like a regular, uh, a regular home. So there's a couple of things that you might want to know in order to be able to best negotiate these uh, these prices okay. with the bank. The first thing is it's going to take a little bit longer for the bank to respond. If you make an offer on your neighbor's house, they may get back to you that day. A bank this is a big institution. <clears throat> Excuse me they need to have some time to respond, some time to review the offer. So it might be seven or ten days before you even get an answer back, a yes, no, a maybe. Uh, what will happen there is it opens up an opportunity for other people to potentially bid on that home. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about negotiating, if you have a competitive bid on that home, it may increase the price. And in some cases, we see foreclosures go at list or above list. But it's certainly negotiable, and I would try. Have your offer prepared the best way you can. Make sure that you have the bank addendums included with the offer so they don't have to think too much about it. They can look at it, say, are the terms right? We want to accept. Okay, so you found your foreclosure. <clears throat> now, is it harder to find a lender when you're dealing with a foreclosure? It's exactly the same as really? any other home. There's okay. no difference on the property whatsoever. Make sure that you've talked to your lender. Make sure you have your commitment letter from the lender. And make sure they're not only approving you as a borrower, making sure you make enough, you can put enough mm -hmm. money down, but also make sure that they qualify that the property is approved. You know, if you're in a condominium where there's an overrun of rental properties, they may, you might find it hard to find a conventional loan on that, uh, on that property. So don't always just address your finances. Address your finances and the property but no issue on a foreclosure. Right. So how do we find these foreclosures? I know they're out there. How do we get our, our hands or our eyes to actually see what we're dealing with here? About a third of the listings that are out there are foreclosures. Now in the past, what you used to find, and this is not a good practice, but yeah. you used to find what's called pocket listings. And so the agents would say, this is a good deal. It just got foreclosed on. I'm going to hold this out for my friends and family. Uh -huh. The banks don't want to see that. You know, the banks have stockholders out there. They want to make sure that they're getting at least market rate for these homes. So they're going to put it out on MLS. They're going to hire a real estate broker the same as you would hire if you were selling your house. You can find it, the foreclosures on almost every single website. They're on our website, on mytownhome.com, on masonproperties.com, and they're interspersed with all of the regular listings. Now, the other things that I'd like to offer the viewers is send me an email, tj at mytownhome.com. I outline what address, excuse me, what uh, location you want, outline what price point you want. We'll send you a full list of all of the foreclosures. Now, you're having a special event happening for the holidays at your office. You have a holiday charity open house going on? We do. We've got a holiday charity open house. It's at 1500 South Boulevard, right across the street from Einstein Bagel. Mm -hmm. And we've got a little silent auction that's going on. We've got a gift certificate to Blue for 150 bucks. We've got some, uh, some great crafts that were made. And we're doing this for USO, for Wounded Warrior Project. Project and for Toys for Tots. And so we hope that everybody will come out. If you've already given this year, still come by, enjoy some wine with us, and uh, we'll have a party at the office. Oh boy, a chance to party with TJ Larson. And, and if you have any any real estate questions at all, this is the guy definitely to talk to. Thanks. It is uh, coming up uh, at My Tone Home Realty on Thursday, December 2nd from 5 until 8 p.m. Go out there, check it out. You'll probably get a lot of knowledge and you can have a great time because these folks are fun to hang out with. TJ, thank, thank you. you so much. As always, terrific information.